I'm Debbie Godfrey. Welcome to the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. Today, I'm going to talk a little more about the punishment system and how that is, it's so similar. And that's, I think, why Alfie Cohen named his book Punished by Rewards, because both of them are creating children that are externally motivated, that they're not learning the internal loci of control or how to do things, why to do things just because they need to be done or it's the right thing to do or it's the caring thing to do or the kind thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and quote again um, out of this book, uh, Punished by Rewards by Alfie Cohen. And Alfie says, we convince ourselves that we are not just imposing our will, but teaching the child what happens when he misbehaves and that this will prevent future misbehavior. Moreover, we see ourselves as administering an elemental sort of justice. Having broken a rule, the child must now be punished. The first rationale is fatally flawed. Punishment teaches about the use of power, not about how or why to behave properly. The commitment to punishing children typically reflects a fear that the failure to respond this way will mean that they got away with something. In my view, there are two fundamentally different ways a one can respond to a child who does something wrong. One is to impose a punitive consequence. Another is to see the situation as a teachable moment, an opportunity to educate or to problem solve together. The response here is not, you've misbehaved, now here's what I'm going to do to you. But something has gone wrong. What can we do about it? Trying from Piaget's work, arguing that punishment leads to three possible outcomes, a calculation of risks, which means that children spend their time figuring out whether they can get away with something, or blind conformity, which fails to teach responsible decision-making or revolt. Piaget put this, one, this point more succinctly, punishment renders autonomy of conscience impossible. So I think what I learned from this out of Alfie Cohen's book is that the, the punitive system is not the most effective thing for the long range. It is not teaching a child to do things because it's the right thing to do. It's teaching them, I've got to see if I can get away something. They weigh the punishment versus the gratification of doing what they're, what they want to do or the, the weight of the punishment as counteracting how much fun they're going to have doing what they wanted to do or how much fun they're not going to have by not doing what they're going to do. And so kids will often just take the punishments and it's really difficult to try to manipulate behavior that way. And it's training them to be manipulative rather than learning to do things because it's the right thing or the wrong thing to do. So if we're not going to use a punitive system, what are we going to do instead? That's going to be the subject of tomorrow's pep talk some different ideas of how to correct misbehavior if we're not going to use punishment. So for today, just look at the times where we, we have the attitude of you've got to pay for a mistake you've made rather than, wow, you've made a mistake. Let me help you figure out how you can fix that, how you can repair that, how you can make that better, do better, be better. Have a great day. Happy parenting. Thank you so much for joining me here at the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. I assume you're here because you're getting something out of these daily pep talks. And wouldn't it be great if more parents could hear more about these ideas for their children? And you could help me in a great way by liking the episodes, by sharing them on your social media, and especially by providing a review on your platform of choice. So if you could do me a huge favor and do that, it would really help get this out to many, many, many more parents. And we can all help our children feel more seen, heard, and understood, which is my life's work, is to make sure that all children feel loved and appreciated and that we can discipline them without breaking their spirit. So I hope that you've enjoyed these podcasts and will continue to enjoy them. And I really appreciate any support you can give me here at Positive Parenting Pep Talks. Thank you so much. Have a great day and happy parenting. Hey!